case briefs and so much more ls data got what you're looking for a landmark 1965 supreme court case stanford v texas struck a significant blow to the excessive law enforcement authority defining strict parameters for search and seizure. The case hinged on the Fourth Amendment stipulation that a search warrant must provide a clear description of both the items to be seized and their suspected location, thereby disallowing indiscriminate searches related to vague connotations. The case arose from a controversial search conducted in December 1963. Texas law enforcement officers executed a warrant issued under the Local Suppression Act, a statute that outlawed the Communist Party, along with various criminal offenses. Based on the warrant, the officers confiscated approximately 2,000 books, pamphlets, and papers from the residence of John William Stanford, Jr., suspecting Stanford to be in possession of Communist Party-related materials. Stanford's residence housed his mail-order book business, all points of view. Yet during their expansive five-hour search, the officers found no evidence supporting their suspicion of Communist Party ties. Stanford, asserting the search and seizure as affronts to his Fourth Amendment rights, challenged the legality of the police action. Contested was the expansive nature of the search, the lack of specific details in the warrant, and the absence of any incriminating evidences found. The legal battleground extended to the Supreme Court, which sided with Stanford, deeming the search and seizure illegal due to the overly broad nature of the warrant. The court identified the warrant as a general warrant, the kind that Fourth Amendment was specifically drafted to combat. Such warrants had been an instrument of political oppression in the past. The order was vacated and the case was sent back for reconsideration. This landmark ruling underscored the necessity of detailed, specific warrants to prevent abuse of power. It crucially highlighted the interconnected protection system provided by the First, Fourth, and Fifth Amendments, safeguarding privacy, preventing self-incrimination, and simultaneously enabling freedom of expression. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.